I have inserted 100,000 Washington Labor and Industry Workmen's Comp claims uh, into the Azure SQL database. Let's take a look at those claims just using the Azure portal. You'll see the Workmen's Comp claims include industry, accident type, body part, cost, date, etc. We can see those claims here. Now I'm in Excel. I've loaded those claims into Excel. Excel is great. However, there's no predictive capability in Excel. But still, we can see some interesting correlations. In 2008, you can see the claims costs were extraordinary for trunk-related injuries. Excel also gives us the really great interactive visuals and power view, and you can look at trending by industry, for example. We can drill down and examine claims, but you cannot predict a new claim's likelihood of being open 180 days or more, and that's what the cu customer asked us to do. So I'm in Azure ML now. This is Azure Machine Learning. And what you see here is an Azure Machine Learning experiment. And what I've done is I've, I've read, uh, I'm reading a table at the beginning of this experiment. And in this table are new workman's comp claims. I'll take those claims and they'll progress through this data flow. And I'll connect those claims to a module called score model and I'll also connect an algorithm that I've previously trained on historic claims. Then I'll run the experiment and now we can actually look at the scored results of those claims and what happened is two new columns were added one called scored label and one called scored probability. Scored label simply says yes or no, this particular claim will be open 180 days or more. Scored probability means what is the likelihood of that. And here's an example of a claim that is predicted to be open 180 days or more uh, to the tune of 95% likelihood. But now I'll take these scored claims and I'm going to write them back to another Azure SQL database table. And that table is where we can refer to to do some further analytics. And I've done that, and now we can go back to the portal, the Azure portal, we can look at the, uh, the actual table, and sure enough, here are those claims, and you can see the scored label and scored probability columns. So back into Power BI, we're gonna sign into Power BI, get data, get it from an Azure SQL database. We'll point to that particular table that we loaded from Azure ML, and now I'm going to explore the data. Let's first just create a detailed table that contains the claim IDs, that contains the probability those claims will be open 180 days or more, some additional columns like the industry. Pin that to the dashboard, and now somebody can look at that and they can operate their caseloads. Let's create another report that has a tree map and a scatter chart to look at some interesting visualizations, maybe, maybe provide some theme colors, fully interactive, clicking on a tree map, clicking on a scatter, they all move together. Let's pin these to the dashboard and then arrange them as appropriate. We'll create a final report, and this final report quite simply will just show the number of claims that we've processed uh, at this point. And you can see a thousand are there. That's from that earlier run of the experiment. So back to Azure ML. A very interesting part of Azure ML is it's, it's extremely easy to create a web service. This is everything a developer needs to easily run an AML experiment from a web service. Now what I've done is I've submitted this web service to an Azure job, and I have that job run every minute, and it will just simply run the experiment, I enable the job, and now back in Power BI, the counts are already updated within the dashboard. And by virtue of being an, a, a cloud data source in SQL Azure database, the dashboard will just simply always be up to date. And because that job is running every minute, now we'll see 3,000 claims processed, the dashboard changes, and so on, 14,000, 26,000. We have a beautiful dashboard that we can operate our business on.